Hi, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hi, teacher. Hi, Saira. Hello. I hope you enjoyed the weekend and that you rested a lot. We are in the last week of this module, right? Ya estamos en la última semana de este módulo. Time flies. Se va rápido el tiempo. But good to see you. Very active. Good, good evening. Hello, Carlos. Welcome. We missed you on Friday. Nos hizo falta aquí el viernes. But welcome back. <laughs> okay, guys. Let me just take the attendance. I will take the attendance and then we, we will start. Okay. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Ana. Then Ana Lilian. Present. Brian Javier. Present. Thank you, Brian. Carlos Antonio. Present. Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Galileo. Jose Jonathan. Present. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos. Laura Carolina. María Concepción. Thank you. María Elena. Then Mayra Moreno, Nelson Gabarrete, Omar Francisco, Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay. Thank you. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay. And Jenny Santos. Here I am. Ah, okay, Galileo. I'm going to add you in the, in the list. Okay, well, good to see you guys. Um, we will start with the first activity. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Arnoldo. Good evening. Welcome. We will Thanks. start. We will start with the first activity. I'm going to tell you one one word, and you have to tell me its opposite. Yo les voy a dar a un adjective, por ejemplo. Y ustedes tienen que darme la palabra opuesta de ese adjective. Okay, that's the way it works. For example, bright, do you know that adjective? Conocen el, el adjective bright? Dark. Bright, ajá, uh -huh. bright es como algo claro, ¿verdad? O brillante, bright. Entonces el opposite sería dark, ajá, uh -huh. correct. Okay, so let's begin. We will start with Ana. Vamos a ir en orden de lista. Okay, Ana. You're the first one. Vamos a empezar con usted a romper el hielo. <laughs> okay, Ana. Awesome. Awesome. Ajá. Uh -huh. Like uh, great. Perfect. Awesome. Not the chance. Sorry. No. Okay. And you, Lily? The opposite word? No. Okay, then Carlos, do you have an idea? Carlos los, uh, mm, okay. boring. Boring, the same mm. opinion as Galileo. Yeah. Any other okay. idea? Ugly. Aha, uh -huh. ugly or terrible. That could be one word that will be the opposite of awesome. The worst will be terrible. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with the next one. We have, okay, Brian, best, the best, what is the opposite word? Mm -hmm. The Maybe. best. Mm -hmm. But no. Mm -hmm. That could be one. Uh -huh. We have the superlative too, the worst. But yes, it comes from, from the word bad. Okay, thank you, Brian. Now, Arnoldo, dead. Dead. What is the opposite? Dead. 
Alive. Alive. Ajá. Uh -huh. Correct. That is its opposite word. De muerto, estar vivo. Alive. Thank you. Then let's continue with Galileo. Bitter. Galileo. Do you know that word? Bitter. Uh, I don't remember what, what's Peter, the name. That means amargo. Ah, sweet. Sweet. Uh -huh. That would be the opposite. Thank you, Galileo. Now, Peter Jonathan. Uh -huh. Yes, that is what I think about. It's a so good song. I like it. Okay, Jonathan, come. Like, calm down. Like, Hakuna Matata, come. What is the opposite? Sad? Mm, no, not sad. Calm, de calmado. Calm. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, is Juan Carlos here? Juan Carlos? Are you yes, there? Teacher. Hi, Juan Carlos. Do you know the opposite word? ¿Usted sabe cuál sería la palabra? Excited. Opuesta? Uh -huh. Yes, or hyperactive, energetic, will be the opposite, right? Thank you. Now we continue with Laura. Okay, Laura. Okay. Brave. Do you know that one? Brave. Happy. Happy. No, brave no oh, yes. es bravo en ningún momento. Brave. <laughs> Es okay. valiente, valiente, uh, that is the meaning of brave. So what is the opposite? Eh, the valiente, it eh, would be? Cobarde, teacher, pero en In English. English? Cobarde. <laughs> no, no sé. <laughs> okay, who knows? Does anybody know that, what I would be know, that teacher. in English? Brave? Or it could be, uh -huh. yes, Galileo, coward. Coward would be one, I will send it in a public chat. Thank you. And the other one I have here is afraid. Tener miedo. Okay, that would be another one. Thank you, Laura, Galileo, and Arnoldo. And then we go with Maria Concepcion. Are you available? I imagine that not yet. Creo que todavía no. Uh, Maya is not here. Nelson, no. Okay. And Omar. Omar, are you available, Omar? No. Okay. Oscar. No. Then Zaira. Okay, Zaira, it's your turn. Okay. Um, hey, teach. Complete. Complete. What is the opposite word? Complete. Complete. Mm -hmm. mm. Complete. Um, es completo, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, uh, no sé, vacío. <laughs> no sé cómo decir. Vacío. Ah, okay. Empty. Empty could be one. Uh -huh. Could be one. Empty sería así. And you, Wendy, do you have another one or anybody? No sé si tienen a, otra idea. Or complete. Incomplete. Incomplete. Aha, uh -huh, that would be the best one. Thank you. Now, Wendy, the last one, Wendy. Not coming. <laughs> Different. Different. What is the opposite Equal. word? Hmm? Equal. Equal. No. No. ¿Cómo? Different. The diferente. Ah, yo quería decir igual, pero no sé cómo. Ah, equal. Equal. Ah, people. Equal. People lo oía por eso. Okay. No, equal. no. Equal. One. Or normal. Ordinary. Equal, the same. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, we will work similar. Yes, Arnoldo, that's another idea. 
We will continue and today we start unit number four. This is the last one because we, we close, right? We close the, the module this week. So in this week, in this lesson, we are going to talk about trainings. We're going to study about that, about trainings. We're going to have a group activity and I need you guys to brainstorm different, well, how to identify areas of opportunities that require personal training. Vamos a trabajar en grupos. Les voy a dar al tiempo, maybe like eight minutes, como ocho minutos, para que piensen en maneras de identificar áreas de oportunidad. O sea, cómo, cómo se podría evaluar que una persona necesita training, different options. ¿Qué hacen las compañías para, para encontrar los déficits? Okay. I will give you eight minutes to try to brainstorm para que encuentren todas las formas posibles, habidas o por haber, para saber si alguien necesita training. Okay. How do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? Eight minutes most or top. Do you understand the, the dynamic? ¿Hay alguna duda en esta dinámica o activity? No? Okay, so let me just team you up. One moment. Um, okay, please open the room. Eight minutes stop or less. Five to eight. A Isaira le llegó su invite. Hi, Mayra. Welcome. Voy entrando, teacher. Ah, okay, Mayra. Ahí me avisa cuando ya esté ahí available. Okay, ahorita están en grupos, teacher. Yes. Así que tiene chance ahí de irse a, a arreglar y a listar. Ah, por lo menos a sentar. Ajá. Yes. Hi Nelson, good evening. Ya me estaba preguntando yo que no había aparecido en la clase. No le escucho, I don't hear you. The mic. Vengo ah. llegando de trabajo, Leo. Ah. Hoy le agarró la noche, Nelson. Hoy me agarró la noche. <ríe> Pero ya se no. 
Eh, sí, ya. Ah, ok, ok. Mire, ahora solo. Y si no, aquí está... me como algo en el. <risa> <risa> ah, ok. I'm just kidding. Your classmates are working in groups in this moment. Ah, ok. They are working in groups. We ¿Y can... qué se va a hacer en el grupo? Ellos están trabajando en pensar cómo se pueden encontrar. Esta es la pregunta que están respondiendo. How do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? ¿Cómo una compañía sabe cuando un empleado necesita training? ¿Cómo detectarlo? So that is, that is what they are doing. Uh, si usted puede pensar en algunas y decirlas en inglés, you can do it and then you can send it in the chat. Y luego me las eh, Son este. Chat. Ok, como oportunidades. Eh... Perdón, repítemela en español. Pero... ¿Cómo se puede identificar las áreas uh -huh. de oportunidad de un empleado que necesita que él vaya a un training? ¿Cómo diría que un employee necesita training or not? That ah, okay. is what they are thinking about. Uh -huh. Okay, but se la mando entonces en el WhatsApp. Sure. Uh -huh. okay. We can do that. Okay, gracias, Ms. You're welcome. Hi, Oscar. Were you working on a team? Or did you just yes, connect? Yes. Yes, I have a trouble with the connection. Who were you working with? Uh, I don't know. Uh, if you want to, you can stay here. They are going to return in two minutes. Okay. And, no and if you come up with some ideas, let me know. Will you, well, do you understand the question? What you have to do? Yes. 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 How, How do you identify the Okay. That require training. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm going to Thank bring you. them here. Uh -huh. We will discuss that. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to listen to your ideas. Group number one. I think it was only you, Zaira. Creo que usted estaba solita, ¿verdad? Porque acabo de ver que Omar is, is working. He's not. Oh, he's sick. Este, sí, pero... Uh, you have ahí some. estábamos haciéndolo. Ajá. Ajá. Estábamos los dos haciéndolo. Ah, okay. Tell me your ideas, please. What are your ideas? ¿Cuáles son sus ideas? Eh, they do surveys. Uh -huh. For customer complaint. Customer eh, complaint. Some com companies train staff every two or three months in different training topic. Mm -hmm. Ok, Saira, Hola, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Galileo and Eli, what are your ideas? Yes, ma'am. There are uh, audits control uh -huh. in every company. Every single company have or has uh, audits control. Maybe, audit, uh, maybe quality audits 
uh, mm -hmm. maybe process of it. In my case, uh, we have quality of deeds every, every year. Uh, mm -hmm. There are a format we check point by point. If the people are not um, um, cumpliendo. They um, are not achieving the goals. Yeah. The, uh, we pre, pre training every every employee. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Galileo. That's right. I appreciate it. Do you have anything else to add or is that it? Yeah, Just that. It. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, Arnoldo and Laura. Do you have different ideas? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Uh, Laura, please. Laura. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ahorita, teacher. Ah, ok. You're going es que to la share escribi the la screen. escribimos, teacher. Uh -huh. ah. No sé si alcanza a leer. Yes. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> How do you identify uh, the number one? is areas in, or departments with new staff or those who have had a promotion with the company. Number two, the people or areas with mistakes in the work performance. Evaluation Laura? by the supervisor, evaluation by worker who are, who are at the same level as the evaluation one, Evaluation by clients with one the evaluate person directly. Solamente eso. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for your ideas. Carlos and Wendy, can you continue, please? Do you have other options? Wendy and I, I have five options. Uh -huh. What are those? Uh, new personal, Wendy periodic evaluation, Mm -hmm. When the staff su su babies, su barbies, uh, encuestas, teacher. Ah, when, it when they have surveys. Surveys, surveys. Yes. Uh, or yeah. when they can cannot do the job. Mm -hmm. and when there are producer. Uh, Procedures, oops, days. When they are, uh -huh, when you have updates, you give trainings to okay. have everyone updated. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Carlos and Only Wendy. That. Now, Brian and Jonathan, other options? Performance evaluation. Mm -hmm. And if a service company is on each customer. Can you repeat? I don't hear you well, Jonathan. Incognito, incognito customer. What do you Can mean? You I'm me? sorry. Uh, it is a service company. Uh, it could be um, with a customer incognito. Incognit. Mm -hmm. Incognit. Like. Okay. Can you send it in the chat? But ah, ah, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. It will be in a different way that we will say it, but I have forgotten the word in this moment, Jonathan. But okay. Uh -huh. I got the idea. Okay. Only this is guys. These guys customer, you could call it like that. These guys. It's como alguien encubierto, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Do you other have any companies? Uh -huh. The companies. Eh, lo llaman um, mystery shopper. Ah, okay. Yeah, they mm -hmm. use them, right? Los los hacen pasar por por clientes, pero son realmente de ahí, de la empresa. Ajá, correcto. 
Okay, thank you, Jonathan and Brian. Then Juan Carlos and Maria Concepcion. Do you have George? Teacher, en este caso, eh, no pudimos con María Concepción. Bueno, en ah, mi caso, okay. estoy trabajando en este momento. Ok, Juan Carlos. No Puede, pero sí estoy de oyente. Ok, all right. Then, si puedo Alan, ajá. opinar después, teacher, o sea, me, me lo voy a hacer. Un pero... message, uh -huh, okay, para yo hasta tomarlo en cuenta. Ok, okay gracias. Juan Carlos. Then, Ana y Lili. Ahorita, teacher. In my company, there are giving the feedback on the weekend sales, or the there are in each area. The day area and give it training. Where is the requirement? Uh, the employee, the physician, within the company and interning the customer service, and every month with most evaluation, the different use relies to the activities with the company. Okay, uh -huh. other options. Okay, thank you, Anna and Lily. Now, Oscar, did you, do you have a comment, Oscar, before we go on? I, I understand uh, because uh -huh. for training for uh, companies have a new product. Okay. And you have the training personal for the new product. Or when the company have a new machine, the personal need the training for the, uh, the, the driving machine. Mm -hmm. Only Thank that. you. Okay, Oscar. Thank you. And Nelson, do you have your idea, Nelson, before we continue? Nelson, no sé si está por ahí. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. uh, yes, Miss, the, the areas, the opportunities that an employees uh, can try in uh, my, my hood is a uh, telemarketing, uh, computer technical, and a continuing area. Mm, okay, para evaluar. Si alguien necesita training. Yes. Okay. All right, Nelson. Thank you very much. In this moment, I have sent a link by, by WhatsApp and here by chat on Zoom. And with that video, we have to answer three questions. Vamos a ver un video y quisiera que pusieran o que trataran de encontrar la respuesta a tres preguntas. Number one, why are trainings important? That's question number one. Why are trainings important? Question number two, who are in charge? ¿Quiénes son los que están en, a cargo de los trainings? And question number three, how, cómo se llevan a cabo. It's going to be similar. Vamos a tener respuestas parecidas a las que ya dieron. Okay, three, three questions. Solo quiero ver cuánto dura el, el video. Creo que lo dura dos minutos nada más. Okay, one, one moment. Mm. Okay, two minutes. So we're going to watch it twice, okay? We're going to watch it two times. Are you ready? And let me know, send me a message when you finish. Okay, ready, go.
Have you finished? Yes. Yes. Okay. We will talk about it. Okay. First of all, guys, the idea is that we learn about trainings. First of all, that we speak about it. So I encourage you to try. Okay. Try to speak. And if you have a comment and I don't call your name, you can raise your electronic hand. Okay. Or say it. Okay. El objetivo, verdad, de la actividad es que aprendamos sobre los trainings. Y también que ustedes practiquen su speaking, ¿verdad? Estamos en la última semana de clases y después van a tener una larga vacación. Así que ahorita los animo a todos a que traten, ¿verdad? De expresarse. Si yo no los llamo, pueden también levantar su mano electrónica en give your comment. ¿okay? Vamos a tratar de practicar lo más que podemos antes que nos vayamos a vacations como two weeks or three weeks. Ok, so Laura. Why are trainings important? Porque me ve así, Laura. <laughs> Yo. Ay, teacher. Okay. okay. Vamos Why a are trainings de important? Responder. Okay. Please. Eh, eh, mm -hmm. Is training is important? For what? Um, because? Because. Because. Mm -hmm. eh, into. In, no. Dentro es in, into. In or within? De Dentro de compañías. Ah, ok. Inside. With, uh -huh. Within the company, uh -huh. eh, training is important for, for, eh, ay, permite, allow. It allows. <laughs> It allows eh, goals. En cumpli, cumplimiento, cumple, fulfillment, cumplimiento, eh, objetivo de compañía en the environment profesional en personal. Ok, Laura, <laughs> thank you. Now let's listen to Wendy. Why are trainings important, Wendy? What did you learn? Sorry, teacher. <laughs> Why? Ah, okay. Why are trainings important in your personal opinion? Training. Mm -hmm. They mentioned like three reasons or four reasons why they are important. In el video se mencionaban varias razones. ¿Cuál es? Entendió. Which one did you understand, Wendy? Um, no, teacher. No, no vemos okay. videos, no entiendo nada. Ah, Sorry. okay, okay. And you, Rodrigo, did you understand a part of the video? Uh, it's important training for productivity. Productivity, ajá. Uh -huh. Capacity. Capacity. Uh -huh. Capacity. Y la capability. Ajá, uh -huh. correct. Thank you, Rodrigo. Is there any other comment? No sé si hay alguien más que quiere dar su comment. Oscar. Ajá, okay. uh -huh. Oscar. Uh, to enhance the skill of the employees. Uh -huh. Thank you, Oscar. Is there anybody else who wants to give a comment about the importance? Galileo. Yes, yes Galileo. The training are important in a company because it's necessary to improve different abilities or, mm -hmm. or qualities. Characteristics, uh, qualities. Char characteristics. Mm -hmm like capability, capacity, and productiv productivity. Correct. Uh -huh. Yes, if the, if the employee is not performing well, you need to help your employee, and that is going to help the company. Thank you, yes. Galileo. And Arnoldo, did you raise your electronic hand? I raised some ideas. 
Uh, uh -huh. I understand. Uh, for example, they say that every organization to it's important for every organization to conduct training to enhance, enhance the skills of the employee currently process to less the difficulties for all employees. Correct. Uh -huh. Employees will perform better. They will lessen the, the errors or mistakes. Thank you. Now, question number two. Let's begin with Maria Concepcion. Okay, Maria Concepcion. Who are responsible or in charge? ¿Quiénes serían los que llevan a cabo los trainings? Mostly. In most companies, Maria Concepcion. The microphone, Maria Concepcion. Sorry, uh -huh. <laughs> that's fine. Eh, el, los que llevan el cargo, dice ser. Ajá, los que lo llevan a cabo, los trainings. Who are in charge? ¿Quiénes están eh, a cargo? Eh, the general director, no sé cómo se dice, general, la directora general. Mm, it could be the CEO or the general executive. That could be another term. Or a director. Other okay. options? Um, the general gerente, quiero decir. Supervisor. Uh -huh. El supervisor. Uh -huh. um, eh, Ruman, Ruman, Human Resources. Human Resources. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, um, los demás eran que se Okay, María Concepción. There is like one more. Who has the other one? Do you have it, Mayra or Galileo? Do you have a comment? Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm, there are uh, the people who are in charge to training our supervisor and training director. Uh -huh. There's a department that some companies have in the training director in that area. Okay, thank you, Galileo. Question number three. There are like two, four, like nine options. Habían como ocho, nueve maneras de, de saber si un employee necesitaba training. Mayra, do you have some of them? Uy, teacher, esa quizás no la puse. Como saben, de último casi no la vi, pero alcancé a ver. Una que decía, I need, eh, o sea, hay que necesitar una ayuda, por si necesitaba una ayuda. Pero si es así, no las no la terminé de ver. Ok, your classmates will help you. Aquí sus compañeros le van a ayudar, entonces, Mayra. María Concepción, let's begin with you. De las training director está hablando de eso. No, de los métodos para saber si alguien necesita training. Mm. Que empezaba con appraisals. Ay, lo que pasa es que yo no sé dónde decía training director, Ajá. or implement training programs. Ajá, esos son los que están in charge. Serían los que llevan a cabo los trainings. Y ahora vamos a ver cómo logran detectar si alguien necesita training or not. Ok, give me one moment, Arnoldo. Do you have a comment, Lily? Lily, do you have any options? Uh, no, primero, appraisal. Uh, appraisal? Yeah. Um, develop. Development centers. Development centers, yes. In... Like... <laughs> okay, uh -huh. but that's that's correct, Lily. Thank you, guys. Does anybody know the meaning of appraisals? Alguien sabe qué sería un appraisal? No, Carlos, you do. 
Galileo no. Carlos, es, Ana. Ajá. Es una AP uh, for good employee o bad employee. Is a, es un qué, sir? Una, a, una acción de personal, no sé cómo podría decirse. Personal action. Action. Personal, personal action. action. For, for good employee or bad employee. Aha, uh -huh. it's like, imagine that it's like if you were in the school. I will tell you first in English. You have metrics and you have grades. And at the end of the month, it, you have an average, like a number, seven, eight, nine. In call centers, that is very common because you have metrics. So the appraisal is like your number. Entonces, un appraisal es como que les calificaran todo, tuvieran como todo, todo en métricas, ausentismo, eh, si les hacen surveys, como la llevan, y el conjunto de todos es un, como una nota para usted mensual, y eso sería sí. su appraisal. Y en los call centers, ellos utilizan bastante esa táctica para como llevar a su employee bien medido en todos los en todos los aspectos ese sería un appraisal ok thank you thank you very much and or Arnoldo Arnoldo did you have a comment no sé si usted yes sí yes appraisal is la evaluación ajá uh -huh. it's like a pero con yes. respecto a how how determine the the trainings trainings also need as assignment to determine whether training is needed or, or not eh, mediante appraisals development centers human resource audit interim intelligence questionnaires observation business plans mm -hmm. text research graph this graph discourse or evaluation. Correct. There are many options, right? Ahí estaban algunas thank. de las que ustedes habían mencionado y hay nuevas. Okay, thank you, Arnoldo, for your comment. And now, when you have a training or classes, there are four types of learning. Entonces, cuando uno está estudiando, hay diferentes maneras de aprender. And there are four, the most, like, popular ones. Y ahí están las Cuatro más populares. Who has some ideas? Esos tipos de, de aprendizaje tienen un nombre. I'm going to help you. Les voy a dar yo el de English word y ustedes me van a ayudar a, a definirlo. Ok, number one. This is called in English visual learning style. Visual learning style. Okay, we start with Ana. How do these people learn? Ana, ¿cómo, ¿cómo sería el método más eficaz para este tipo de personas? What do you understand? Or what do you think, Ana? Visual learning style. Es como visualizar, ¿verdad, Tisha? El uh -huh. estilo de visualizar. And how cámara. does it work? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo In se cámara. llevaría? En bitácora, no sé cómo podríamos decirlo, Tiche. ¿A sinónimo? En Ride, es como un libro donde se lleva registrado, por ejemplo, las acciones o actividades que están haciendo en el día a día. Like with books, writing. Uh -huh. Yes. Y with... eh, sería report, write report the daily. Mm -hmm. Cumplimiento, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Cumplimiento de metas, oh, goals. Ah, ok. The achievement of, achievement of objectives the or metrics. Correct. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. Yes. And Elena says images. Yes. Visual learning. Uh, visual learners learn with images. Do you have other ideas, Elena? I don't know. In my job, 
um, with the children is more effectivity um, show imagines or these children more old and they write um, I don't know <laughs> why you say cuento <laughs> fairy tales Larry or fairies mm -hmm. okay thank you Elena all, all, uh -huh. all in birthday vision uh -huh. things that you see it could be maps charts yeah. diagrams and gamma, I don't know why I say that. Uh -huh. charts Chart. maps graphs some graphics graphics uh -huh. diagrams charts Oh. Son los organigramas. Yes, everything you can see. Yeah. Who is a visual learning here? Learner here. ¿Quiénes aprenden más de ustedes así? ¿Quiénes aprenden más looking at it? Do I have visual learners? ¿Alguien prefiere más ese style? ¿O siente que es más así? Galileo, you're a visual learner. Usted es yeah. más de visión. Visual learner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's your style. Cada quien tiene como su preferable one. Okay, thank you. Here we have the next one. Aquí estaría el siguiente. Okay, and okay. Wendy, do you have an idea? Auditory learning style. What do you think it means? ¿Qué cree que significaría? Auditory learning style. Auditory. Mm -hmm. How to learn this style? Como um, the. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Listen. Ajá. Uh -huh. Listening. It is, is, is very easy. Listen, listen the thing. Correct. Yes, Wendy. That is the auditory learning style when you use your ear. Cuando utilizan el oído, ese sería el auditory learning style. People learn better when they listen to things, songs, when they listen to someone, cuando escuchan a alguien, or lectures, everything that you can hear, or someone explaining ideas, alguien explicando, y ahí aprenden mejor. Okay, thank you. Then the next one. This is kinesthetic learning style. Kinesthetic. Carlos, do you have an idea? Have you heard that term before? Se parece un poco al, al español este. Kinesthetic learning style. What do you think it, it refers to? I don't know. Chinese. No, it doesn't sound familiar. Okay, and somebody who has an idea, the kinesthetic it's style. It's Wendy? It's mm -hmm. uh, the people learning easy in action. Yes, with actions, doing something. Thank you. Elena, did you have a comment? Yes, in my job, I don't know. To say in, in English, pero es aprender haciendo. Ajá, learning by doing it. Correct. When you apply, aplicándolo, right? Yeah. That is the kinesthetic style. Thank you. Who learns better like that? ¿Quién siente que ese es más su estilo? The kinesthetic Me. style. <laughs> you, when you do it. Ajá. Yes. It's like cooking, right? Como cuando uno cocina. If yes. you... Tell you, they can tell you, but when you do it, ahí sabe unos. Bueno, I like that one too. A mí me gusta también es. And you, Mayra, what is your style? ¿Quién encontró el suyo? Or not yet. Yes, teacher. Ese que no sabía qué significaba, pero es el que se usa. <laughs> The kinesthetic one. Okay. Ese mismo. También aprendiéndolo, haciéndolo. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. This is the last one. This is the last method. Some people prefer this one. Reading and writing style. Laura, what can you tell us about that style? How do people learn? Mm 
uh, learn to writing y read. Uh -huh, correct. <laughs> When you books, take notes. Novel, uh, uh -huh. Books, uh, novels, uh, uh, new paper uh -huh. in English. <laughs> you read. Uh -huh, you okay. read. Who has another comment about writing or, or, or reading? How do people learn? Uh, Galileo? Yes. That is my method, too. Your method. Writing. Yeah. You take notes all the time. Yeah, uh -huh. take notes. And when I hear a word, a new word to me, I write mm -hmm. and learn two or three times. Perfect. So some people have an special, an special method. Others sometimes they have a little bit of everything, but each person is different. So it could be different with all. The best thing is to apply all of them. Cada quien tiene su propio estilo. Lo mejor es aplicarlos todos porque así ahí ca cada quien agarra como le cuesta menos o con, con su propio method, right? Okay, so we study how to, a little bit about trainings. Luego vamos a seguir con trainings. And the most common types of learning, ¿verdad? Los cuatro aspectos más comunes. Visual learning, auditory learning, kinesthetic learning and reading and writing um, learning. I'm going to take the attendance and then we continue with the class. Okay, I will take it now. One second. Remember to activate the camera and to say present, please. Ana Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Ana Lilia. Present. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay, thank you. Elizabeth Martinez. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Galileo. Present. Okay, thank you. Then Jonathan Vigil. Present. Okay. Jose Rodrigo. Present. Juan Carlos. Laura Carolina. Present. 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 María Concepción. Present. Okay, thank you. Then María Elena. I'm here, um, Okay, Mayra Moreno. Present, teacher. Nelson Gavarrete. Thank you, Miss. Omar Francisco. Present, Miss. Thank you. Oscar Arnulfo. Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you. Okay. Wendy Maribel. Present, teacher. Jenny Santos. Okay. We continue. Present, ah, hi, Jenny. No la había visto. Okay. Thank you. Ahí la agrego. Okay. Acaba de conectarse, ¿verdad? Just right now. Oh, no. Ya tenía sus segunditos. Ok. Llegando, llegando. Oh. All right, Jenny, welcome. We will continue with the conversation, okay, the conversation that you see here. We have Alex and Rick. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah. Uh, Very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complain about having to wait for so long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify. No identify identify their skills and knowledge, knowledge. So we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, so now it's going to be your turn. Are you there, Brian? No? Okay, Zaira, let's continue with Zaira and Oscar. Zaira, you are Alex, Oscar, Rick. 
the, this washer I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about any opportunity. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule server training for next month. And one for the past year, performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think server need a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the server after the training. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good pronunciation. Zaira, I like you said, identify and knowledge. Pronunció muy bien la palabra identify and knowledge, Zaira. Maybe just this one, the one here. Yes. Skills. <laughs> Can you please repeat? Skills. Yes. And Oscar. Skill. Mm -hmm. Skills. Skills. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Let's continue. Omar, do you, do you want to participate? No sé si quiere participar, Omar, or not. No meat. No, okay. No. Okay. Eli, are you available? Eli? Está por ahí, Eli? No? Okay, let's continue with Lily and Arnoldo. Lily, you are Alex, Arnoldo, Rick. Okay. The dishwasher I hear a month ago wants to know how to get from all. He asking me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month. And one for cashier, performance this month was not so good. Some customer plain, complain about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think service need night a good, a good training, let's identify their skill and no well, no well get so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, thank you very much, Lily and Arnoldo. I'm going to help you with some words, okay? Number one, higher. Could you guys repeat, please? Higher. 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 Mm -hmm. higher. higher. Identify. 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 Right. Skills. Well, that one doesn't Skills. belong to you, right? Okay, and knowledge. No knowledge. Uh -huh. Knowledge. Just two sounds. Solo hay dos sonidos Knowledge. que se hacen. No, let. That's it. Knowledge. Correct. Thank you. Let's continue with Carlos and Mayra. Carlos, you are Alex. Mayra, Rick. The dishwasher I hired a month ago. A month ago, month ago one to know how to get promoted. promoted. He asked me Asked me, asked me about training opportunities. Oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month. And one for cashier performance. This month was not, not so good. Some customers complaining about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's let's identify their sky skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the in the training let's do that and don't forget we have to evaluate the service after the training okay thank you very much carlos and and mayra good pronunciation and fluency just three words okay number one promoted 
Could you repeat? Pro, promoted, promoted. Promote. Promoted. Promoted. Yes. Promoted. Yes. I identify. 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 Mm -hmm. One more time, Mayra. Identify. Identify. Evaluate. 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 Do eight. Evaluate. 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 Mm -hmm. Correct. Thank you. Okay, now Jonathan. Jonathan and Elena. Jonathan, you are Alex. Elena, Rick. Okay. It is what I heard a month ago. Want to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunity. Ah, oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a several training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. training. Mm -hmm. Okay, very well, thank you. Thank you, Elena and Jonathan. Laura and Galileo, can you continue, please? Laura, Alex, Galileo, Rick. Okay. Okay. The dishwasher I hired a month mm -hmm. ago once to know how to get promote, promoted. He asked me about training opportunity. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complaining about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think server needs, needs a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge, knowledge so we can include everything they knew, need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Thank you, Laura and Galileo. Just two words. This one here complained. Would you say it again? Complained. Uh huh. Complained. Complained. Knowledge. 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 Yo sé que al verla, como que ahí se hace chibolas uno porque ya se ve más, pero solo son dos sonidos. Knowledge. Knowledge. Ajá. That's the way it sounds. Okay. Last, la, you're welcome. We will listen to Jenny and Rodrigo. Okay, and then we continue. Try to read and understand because we have four questions about the conversation. Jenny, you are Alex and Rodrigo, you are Rick. This washer I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I went to school, 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 a server training for next month and one for cashier. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. I don't forget we have to evaluate the server after the training. Okay, thank you guys, good job. Okay, now let's continue with Wendy. Okay, Wendy, question number one. Wendy and Oscar, same question. Who is asking for a promotion? So ladies first, we will listen to Wendy first, and then we will check if Oscar has the same opinion. Who is asking, oh, sorry, do you have questions about the vocabulary? No sé si hay algunas palabras que no conocen del vocabulary. Before we answer the questions. 
Galileo, you're fine. And you guys, Nelson, Maria, Zaira, yes? Yes, teacher, uh, knowledge. 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 What is? Okay, I'm going to tell you in English first and then I will tell you in Spanish. Knowledge is all the information that you know about something. All the information you know about something is called knowledge. Toda la información que uno sabe de algo se considera conocimiento. Okay? That is knowledge, conocimiento. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. A pleasure. Okay, more questions about vocabulary? No sé si hay alguien más. If not, we listen to Wendy. Okay, Wendy. So, what do you think? Um, Alex? Alex. Alex is asking for a promotion. Okay, thank you, Wendy. And you, Oscar, what is your opinion? Is it for Alex? Me it's Rick. For me, it's Rick. For you, it's Rick. Okay, thank you. Now let's check with Maria Concepcion. Who is asking for a promotion? Are you there? Estaba leyendo ahorita esa parte. Y encontró la respuesta. Did you find the answer? No, not yet. Okay, or you, Elena, or Laura, do you have a comment? Eh, primer sentence, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, question uh, for me, the dishwasher is the employee recién contratado. <laughs> the <laughs> recent. Uh -huh. uh -huh. the, the, uh -huh. uh -huh. the new employee. Correct, Laura. Yes, that is the answer. Alex says, the dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know. Okay, so the dishwasher. Okay, thank you, Laura, and, and you guys, Jenny, you mentioned the same. Okay, number two, we will start with Nelson. What did the customer complain what did the customers complain about? Complain es quejarse, Nelson. What? ¿De qué se quejaron los customers? Mm. Hello. Is uh, if, if relax, you don't know, it's okay. No, no hay problema. Okay. Okay. Sí, estamos aprendiendo, Nelson. Así que no se preocupe. Okay, sí, porque no la encontré. Okay, don't worry. That's all right. Okay, can you help us, uh, Anna? Do you have an idea? Um, is the computer the cashier is long to show? One more time, I'm sorry. The cashier is long. The cashier is slow? Yes. That's a good answer. Thank you, Anna. Now let's listen to Galileo. What is your opinion? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my opinion is some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And Jenny has 
the, the same answer too. And that is correct. So it is here, right? Some customers complain about waiting, waiting a long time. They don't like it. Nobody likes it. Thank you. Okay. Question number three. Let's continue with Jonathan. What staff or personnel will receive, will in future receive training, Jonathan? Servers and cashiers. Servers and cashiers. Okay, thank you. And do you have the same opinion, uh, Lily? What staff will receive training? ¿Quiénes van a recibir training? Do you have an idea? Uh, not in this moment. If not, it's okay. Si no, no hay problem. Okay, Lily, thank you. Okay, and Carlos, what is your opinion? The same, the same. opinion, the same opinion. Servers and cashiers. Servers and cashiers. Okay, yes. thank you very much. Uh -huh. They are going to have to trainings. Okay, thank you. Last question. Question number four. Jenny, what do you think? What steps will Alex and Rick take for, I'm sorry, what steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? ¿Qué tienen que hacer? ¿Qué pasos van a seguir? To take the training. La única que no sabía, <risa> Ok, sorry. <risa> Suele suceder, ¿verdad? Eh, Cosas de la vida. Eh, we, <risa> they have to evaluate the server after the training. <risa> evaluate the service, the servers, ok. Thank you, Jenny. Arnoldo, other ideas or the same? What do they have to do, Alex and Enrique? I lose in this moment. I <laughs> resolve other problems with, in, ah, with the, okay. in the workplace. But uh, what is the question? What steps will Alex and Rick stay for the training? Mm -hmm. Maybe identify their skills and knowledge or include mm -hmm. everything they need in a training. Uh -huh. Correct. Thank you. So first they are going to identify the problems, okay? Van a ver cómo están. And later, after the training, evaluation. Los van a evaluar qué tal están luego del training. Okay, thank you. We continue with comprehension. Siempre seguimos con comprehension. Vamos a hacerlo acá. Okay, I'm going to give you a moment. Les voy a dar un momento para que lo, lo analicen. And it says, how do you organize training? ¿Cómo se organizaría el training? ¿Cómo se llevaría a cabo? ¿Qué se hace primero? ¿Qué se hace después? And next, okay, hay six parts. Aquí están seis partes del proceso para hacer un training. Evalúen qué iría primero. It says, analyze the job, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Gaps are like bridges. Una gap es como un un espacio, un intervalo donde hay como un problema, algo donde como un knowledge gap es que no hay conocimiento en este sentido, knowledge gap. No tienen conocimiento en esa parte, está un espacio, no conocen esa parte. Implement training. Next one, identify personal current skills and knowledge. Evaluate performance after training and identify training solutions. If there are new words, please let me know. Si hay palabras nuevas, me lo dicen para que logren comprender que, cómo iría, okay? Again, vamos a ordenar cómo se organizaría o se llevaría a cabo un training. Hay que ordenar los pasos. To have a training. I'll give you four minutes. Four minutes, guys. Cuatro minutos. Vemos together. 
925. You can send me a message if you need. Sorry, Carlos. Yes, Arnoldo, tell me. Do you have a question or are you ready? Mm -hmm. You're done. Okay, in two minutes we will continue. We will wait for your classmates a moment. Luego analizamos. Hi, teacher. Sorry, it was a mistake. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Okay, in this moment, we will continue together. Nelson, can you help us with number one? ¿Cuál cree que sería la primera? Do you have an uh, idea? Number one is analyze the job. Analyze the job. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Yes. And you, Laura, number one for you? Uh, I, I have do that, teacher. <laughs> I have a doubt. A DAO, I have a DAO, eh, enter, enter, analysis de job, or identify personal current skill and knowledge, mm. knowledge. Knowledge. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. lo, lo, lo tenía ¿Por cuál en el igual, digamos. Eh, uh, identify personal teach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, identify personnel. Okay. okay, thank y, you. Y después analizar el trabajo. <laughs> okay. All right, thank you, Laura. Well, yes, the ones who thought it's that one, esa es Laura. Analyze the job. That will be number one. Pero estaba entre esas, okay, so, so okay. yes. Okay, <laughs> okay, thank you. Number two, Lily. What is your opinion?
Number two. Person. Identify personal current skills and knowledge. Yes. Okay, thank yes. you, Lily and Elena. The same opinion, right? I'm looking at your at your notes, Elena. You have the same yes, opinion, Elena, right? The same opinion. That's the one. Thank you. Number two, that is the second thing to do. Right. Thank you. Number three, Wendy. What is the next thing to do? Mm, analyze job, identify personal. Three, the study skill on knowledge gaps. This one, the size skills. Okay, thank yes. you, Wendy. And you, Galileo, the same? Same as Wendy? I'm sorry, ma'am. What's number? Number three? Ah, number three. Implement training. Implement training for you. Okay, thank you. And then Maida. Number three, Maida. Number three, mm -hmm. the same opinion, design skill and knowledge gap. That one, uh -huh. that will be the one uh -huh. based on my, my list here. Yes, you have to decide the skills, but thank you. Uh -huh. And then let's continue with the next one. Oscar, number four for you. We have three. Implement training. You implement training. Okay, thank you. Arnoldo. Arnoldo and Anna, number four. Identify training solution. Identify training solutions. Thank you. And you, Anna? Uh, identify training solutions. Uh huh. That's the one. You identify the solutions. Thank you. Now number five. What do you think, Jonathan? Number five. We have two options. Implement training. Implement training. Okay. Thank you, Jenny. The same, Jenny, or different? It's the same, teacher. Same. Okay. Thank you. That's the one. And the last one will be the last one, right? The only one we have, number six. Okay. So first you analyze the job, then you identify the skills of the personnel, then you decide, okay, the skills and knowledge gaps. Later, you identify the solutions, training solutions, implement training, and then you evaluate the performance. Okay. Thank you. In, in this moment, here, we have the same things. Acá tenemos lo mismo, pero tenemos como la explicación. We have the explanation. The idea is that in pairs, van a, a tratar de leer eso y van a analizar la definición o el concepto a cual se refiere. Like number one, aquí está la explicación, entonces será Será analyze the job or decide the skills and knowledge gaps or identify training, training solutions. Tienen que ver a qué hace referencia cada definición. Okay. And then we return y vamos a comparar. Okay. So here we have the imp. Do you understand or do you have questions? Alguna duda about this part? No? No questions? Okay. It will be a short moment. Va a ser un momento corto. Please let me know if you, if you finish before. Give me just one second. I'm going to, to recreate the rooms. Okay. Page 
Nelson, did you get the invite? Le llegó su invitación, Nelson. No. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Have you finished or not yet? Not yet. No, faltan dos. Two, teacher. Ah, okay. Yeah. It requires analysis. You have to evaluate the answer. Okay, continue. Do you need my help before I leave? Vocabulary. Había una palabra que vimos que no sabíamos. Improvement. Improvement. Mejoramiento. Ah, mejoramiento. Ajá. Improve es mejorar, pero en verbo. Bueno, teacher, aquí estamos adivinando. Ahora ha sido de análisis la clase. Sí, bien sí. largo está estos conceptos, teacher. Yes. El otro estaba fácil. Es el mismo, Why solo que free. con el... Ajá, uh -huh, with the con más, let, con más letras. Uh -huh. Con más description. Yes. Most ok, I'm going to visit your classmates. Sí, okay, bueno. thank you. El dos, si quiero, voy a hacer yo. Si me... How are you? Hi, teacher. ¿Qué tal va por acá? Mm, intentando. <laughs> And how many have you finished? ¿Cuántos han terminado? Ay, ninguno. 
Ninguno, okay. teacher. Do you need my help? No, solo tiempito. Mm. No Time. Ok. <risa> Mucho análisis ahora en la clase, ¿verdad? Hoy solo. <risa> <risa> y todavía falta. Bueno, no, ya sí. casi no. No, dice mal. Nos vamos a hacer bien <risa> analistas. <risa> Ajá. Yes. Ok, <risa> lo voy a dejar entonces para no distraerlos. If you need me, let me know. Ok, and I'll come back. Y esta toca de quiera. Ajá. Hi Oscar, hi Elena. How are you doing? ¿Cómo vamos por acá? Por the number three. Van en la number three. Ah, ok, all right. Do you need my help? For the moment, I think no. No. Ok, all right. Les voy a dar ahí más tiempo entonces para que sí. See you in one moment. Bye. Bye. Hi, Galileo. Hi, Hi Zaira. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Have you finished? Ya terminé. It is in. It is in. <laughs> no. Le digo a sus classmates que ahora ha sido de análisis la clase. Yes. English so analysis. Interesting. <laughs> the training in, in English. And do you need my help? I don't know, with vocabulary or anything I could help you with? Yes, yeah. I, I see the book. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. If you can uh, zoom in, you can say it like that. Zoom, zoom in. Uh -huh. Zoom in. You can zoom the, in. Zoom in. Mm -hmm. Okay. A veces puede poner la, lo que quiere aumentar en medio, así como zoom the book in, and it's also possible. Ok, thank you, mom. You're welcome. And the opposite is zoom out. Ese es para alejarlo. Out. Zoom, zoom out. in cerca, zoom out lejos. Mm -hmm. Ok. Galileo, are you going to stay for the private session today? Yes, I can. Ah, okay. I just wanted to, to double check thank, on that. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to visit other rooms. If you need me, I'll be back, okay? All okay. right, see you. Observe lo que hace el empleado y cuáles son sus necesidades. Hello. Hi, Arnold. Hello. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, teacher. Como que tuviera una lamparita o como un láser, se ve ahí su micrófono. Ah. Más cuando tiene su mano acá, it's like your light in the way. <laughs> uh, is there something I could help you with? Do you need um, any help? We are doubts. We are doubts. We have doubts. Uh -huh. with, uh, some definition, maybe the ah, three, okay. four, and five. Um, ah, okay. So you're done. You are just not sure about the answers. Um, number three, uh, maybe analyze the job or decide the. No, identify personal current identify skill and personal knowledge. Skill and knowledge. Ah, okay. Well, your classmates haven't finished. I think in about two or three minutes, we will return. We will return to the main room. So think about it a little bit more. And if not, in the main room, we will discuss all the answers to get to the right, to the right option, okay? Okay. Thanks. All right. Thanks. I'm going to visit other rooms and I, I can come back if you need me. All right. Thank See you. you. Repetido la dos y la tres, mira. Sí, están repetidas. ¿Cuál? La dos y la tres. Sí, la, la dos, dos y la tres, tres tienen la misma, la misma respuesta, la hemos puesto. Hi, Carlos, Nelson, Rodrigo. How are you doing? Ya nos hicimos nudo. No, You're pero done. aquí estamos dándole, aquí estamos dándole, teacher. Mucho análisis, <ríe> le digo a sus compañeros que ahora solo análisis, English analysis fue ahora, the whole class. <ríe> Do you need my help? In about two minutes, we will return. Porque estamos en ciencias sociales. <ríe> es una clase de trainings in English. 
Yes. Uh -huh. Así que ya va a ser como hacer, ya vas a ver cómo hacer los trainings ahí en su company, Nelson. Ya vas a ver yes. ahí cómo enviarlos al training. <laughs> <laughs> ok, well, no questions, ya están casi saliendo. Casi solo, solo la, la definición. que han repetido. Están ahí sí, viendo. estamos buscando la definición, cuál podría okay. ser. In two minutes we will return y allí vamos a salir ya de todas las dudas. Ok, if you have okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right, see you in one moment. No, no sé, pero a mí me están dejando hasta las 6.15. Hello. Okay. Sorry Hello, to teacher. interrupt. Excuse me. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Do you have questions or do you need help? I finished this. You're done. Ah, okay, perfect. Yes. Sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, because we will be back in two minutes, so we can we can check. Uh -huh. Number one. And identify persons following the sky. All right. Yes. Number two. Identify trying solution. Yes. Uh, three. Evaluate performance three. after trying. Yes. Four. Analyze the job. No. I. No. Al revés. That's the only one. Uh -huh. The size scales uh, knowledge. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. But don't tell your classmates. No le digan todavía okay. a sus classmates. Okay. Vamos a, a resolverlo ya rapidito. But yeah, uh -huh, that will be the, the way. Casi todos estaban bien, just the last two. We had to ah, pues no teníamos el tiempo que les prometí. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Pero llegamos al 9.5. <laughs> um. Mucho análisis le digo a sus classmates la clase de hoy. Era más que todo Ajá. de comprehension, de entender. Este. Yo era el amo de, de llaves. Hello, welcome back. If you haven't finished, we... yo me he quedado en Ricardo, me pedía cosas <risa> para hacer llave y a veces me ponía que le pusiera nombre a 5 mil posts. I thought he was talking to you. Pensé que estaba hablando con ustedes. No. No one. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh. Well, let's continue. Okay. Um, hold on. Here is the book. So let's check together. If you didn't finish, we will finish together. También pueden utilizar el chat y me mandan ahí su respuesta. Okay. Group number one. Okay. One moment. Number one. Galileo, Zaira, Eli. And Jenny and Laura, uh -huh. number Decide one. Decide skills and knowledge gaps. Decide skills and knowledge gaps. Okay, thank you. And you, Laura and Jenny. Decide skill and knowledge gaps. The same. The same as Galileo. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Arnoldo and Jonathan, number one. The same. The same. Okay, thank you. Mine and Wendy? The same, teacher. The, the same. same. Okay, then Carlos? Carlos Rodrigo Nelson? The same. The same. Everyone has the same. Right. You have decided the skills and knowledge gaps. No one has... Anything different. Nadie tiene algo diferente. Nosotras, teacher. Ajá. Nosotras, Besides you, Nosotras. no one. Ok. María Concepción. Ajá. Can you read the... Uh -huh. Let's identify personal current skills. Correct. That's, that's number one, guys. Thank you. So number one will be identified personal current skills and knowledge. Here we have that one. Okay, number two, let's check out with, okay, Oscar and Elena, 
Number two. Identify, Identify personal. personal. Identify personal, la que tenemos en la uno. Porque ya la, no. ya la tenemos. Hey, Identify ah, the training the solutions. Ah, ok. All right, sorry. Ok, thank you. And Mayra and Wendy, the same, different. Number two. The same, teacher. The same. Identify okay. training solutions. Ok, Mayra, thank you. Who has something different? Something different, number two? No one. Okay, that's the one. Uh -huh. Number two, identify training solutions, correct. Thank you. Now let's continue with Galileo and Saira. Number three, what is your opinion? Number three, evaluate performance after training. Okay, thank you, Saira. Let me see. Okay, Lily, Lily or Anna? Or Maria Concepcion? Yes, the same. The same. Uh, the, same. the same. The same. Okay. Then Arnoldo and Jonathan? Number three. Analyze the, Analyze the job. Analyze the job. Okay, thank you. Wendy, Wendy and Mayra. I don't remember if you said it. Or Jenny and Laura. Number three. That's it. Uh, Which one? I'm sorry. Evaluate per Evaluate. After ah, training. Okay. The one here. Mm -hmm. Correct. Thank you. That will be number three. Evaluate performance after training. Okay, thank you. Okay, Galileo and Saira, number four. We think is analyze the job. Analyze the job. Okay, thank you. Laura, Jenny, and Juan Carlos. Number four. Yes. Desire skills. Decide the skills. Knowledge. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. Then let's see. Arnoldo and Jonathan. Analyze, uh, we are we are mistakes. Ah, the ah, that's the one you were doubting, right? Me mencionaron que estaba. Okay, I will help you with that one. It is decide the skills, decide skills and knowledge gaps. That will be the one here. And the last one is the one that we don't have right now. So analyze, analyze the job will be the one that will go in this area. Do you have doubts or questions? Here you have like the things that happen in that process, right? Ahí les explico un poquito que se hace en cada parte. Okay. Questions for me? Uh -huh. I only clarify the job is referred al puesto de trabajo, no al empleado, sino que al puesto. Analyze the job. Uh -huh. el, el job, el analyze the job se refiere al puesto de trabajo, no a los empleados. Ajá, uh -huh. el puesto. Yes, que es lo que, las responsabilities, como acá dice of the position. Mm -hmm. Ajá, y basado en eso. Era, el, era, era, era del, del, de la persona, pero no de la ah. persona. Sino... Ajá, sería la position y luego usted va a ver cómo está ese, ese employee en esa position. Ahí, ahí analiza, you analyze the job. Ok, mm -hmm. all right, thank you. For the last part, 
creo que no vamos a tener suficiente tiempo para la última activity. Esta era lo mismo, siguiendo el mismo proceso, but in this case, you have to choose someone. Aquí en esta última parte, vamos a escoger a alguien. Use the process in the previous page to determine your skills, but not your skills. Lo que, no sé, pero creo que ya no, ya no lo vamos a hacer ahora. Okay, the idea was that you had to determine this, ¿verdad? Teníamos que contestar esto basado en una persona. Okay, to determine how, if that person will need, will need a training. But we won't do it right now because of the time, okay? Ya no lo vamos a terminar porque ya se nos acabó casi el tiempo. Okay, do you have questions or comments? Questions or comments for me? ¿Cómo está su brain after a lot of analysis? Ya yeah, mucho, ya yeah, yeah, con sueño. Tired. <laughs> I burned my last neuron. <laughs> okay, very tired. Yeah, it was a lot of comprehension. Un poquito de cada cosa. By the way, if you want to, we can take like a, like a digital picture on Friday, if you would like to. Si quieren, podemos tomar una picture para que les quede recuerdo del, del su módulo, their module, because sometimes it changes, right? A veces hay unas hey. pequeñas variaciones. So we take a picture, ahí se ponen todo así bien guapos. And we take the picture on, on Friday, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. Agree. I agree. <laughs> yes, la, la del More. recuerdo de sus digital <laughs> classes. <laughs> okay, but yes. Okay. Um, More pretty. <laughs> yes, prettier. Prettier than now. Here. Yes. So, guys, you're doing more, very well. I've seen your improve. Ajá, uh -huh, and more beautiful. Ahí con los comparativos. Correct. Yes, but you have improved a lot. Yo siento, bueno, yo veo bastante cómo van ahí mejorando día tras día desde que nos conocimos en the last level, right? Y me acuerdo que, que sentí como que nos íbamos conociendo y sí, ya siento que ya nos, ya nos como que acostumbramos más todos a todos. But you're doing very well. Continue, ok. Siempre les los animo ahí a que sigan. Yo sé que se cansan. It's difficult. It's tiring. But try to continue. Even when you're tired. Aunque sea un poquito van a practicar. Even if you just listen to the class. María Concepción sometimes is tired. Or she has some pain. María Concepción siempre me comenta cuando se siente mal, pero ahí está siempre, ¿verdad? You continue trying. And Omar, too, sometimes he's very busy, and I know all of you, ¿verdad? Todos, todos están siempre cansados. Mayra llega corriendo a veces y ahí me avisa. I'm not there yet, but you have to continue, ¿ok? So, don't give up, no se rindan, ¿ok? Continue. Todavía falta bastante, y como estudiamos ahora, hay diferentes... Learning styles. Así que en alguno de esos learning styles, ahí va a ser uno más para ustedes. Okay? And another one for you. So we still have some, like four more classes, right? Is there something you would like to practice a little bit more? No sé si hay algo que quieran practicar un poquito más. Speaking or reading, pronunciation. Speaking, mom. Speaking. speaking. You want to speak. Ok. All right. Sí. Bueno, yo sí las tengo con bastante speaking. Entonces las dejo así. Anything else? Algo más que quisieran que. Yes, Wendy. Analyze. Analyzing. Así como uh, un montón de analyzing. For me. <laughs> yes, yes. Try, guys, to retain. Creo que casi todos les he mencionado. Traten de, de expandir su vocabulary o de recordar, ¿verdad? Palabras que ya vimos. Traten de repasarlas para que no se les olviden. Por ejemplo, la palabra hired, que la aprendimos, no sé si last month, la han visto más, creo que ya todos se recuerdan que es hired. Entonces, de tanto oírlo y leerlo, se les va a quedar. Así que traten de recordarlo, ¿verdad? Okay. So, we will do that. But yeah, I, I still have some role plays in the last classes, I'm speaking. Y yes. We have some comprehension too, Wendy. 
I must say comprehension. Okay. <laughs> All right, today I'm going to stay with Galileo. No me recuerdo bien con quién me toca mañana, pero ahí está en el chat, right, para la private session. So today I will stay with, with Galileo. I'm going to take the attendance and then you, you're free to go. Okay, so let's begin with Ana Beatriz. Present. Okay. Ana Lilian. Present. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay, thank you. Elizabeth Martinez. <clears throat> Eli, no? Okay, Jose Arnoldo. Jose Galileo. Present, no. Okay, thank you. Jose Jonathan. Present. Okay, Jose Rodrigo. Present. Okay, Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Okay. Thank you, Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. Maria Concepcion. Present. Okay. Thank you, Maria Elena. Mayra. Okay. Mayra. Present, teacher. All right. Thank you, Nelson Gavarreto. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Omar Francisco. Present. All right. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Zaira Marleni. Okay. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Escribió a alguien que está presente, dice. Yes. Ah, él. Ah, ok. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Jenny Santos. Present teacher. Ah, ok, Jenny. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, that will be all. You are free to go. Ok. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Ok. Sweet dreams to all of you. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bless you. Good night. Thank you. See you. Okay, one moment, Galileo. We will just wait for your classmates to go to sleep and then we continue. Okay. How were you doing today? How was work, Galileo? Very busy? Oh, the microphone, Galileo. I can't complain. You can't? Oh, okay, so yeah. it wasn't that bad. Very, very busy, but... Uh, you like uh, it? I like it, exactly. Uh -huh. I was... Yeah. Uh, I was preparing a report, a presentation. The mm -hmm. last Friday, the, the operation manager in, in I uh, were making a proof about new pizza boxes. Ah, okay. So it's there's like a project going on yeah. that you have to to release. Yeah. It's ah, like okay. a project to um, uh, bajar costs. To low, low so the costs. Low the costs. Mm. Yeah, and we need to low the, ah, the calibre de la caja, <laughs> box, box ah, peso. Calibre is like the balance, no. El grosor de la caja, el espesor. I don't know what el, that part is. It's ah, like the one you you have to close. No, it's the 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 boxes is, is one Flat. part. It's, uh -huh. it's one piece. Yes, ¿verdad? One uh -huh, piece. It's a piece. Yes. It's one piece. So. The box have a uh, grosor. Ah, okay. So you can call it the width. Width, width, yeah. The width. Ah. Width we is need like grosor. Yeah. Ah, we that is what to, you want to lower. Yeah. So mm. we we uh, uh, were making a uh, proof 
we um, we open a current box and we open a new box with the to the proof and we were three different uh, sizes of, of, of piece of boxes. Ah, okay. So that is what you are like working on. The presentation was about that. Yeah. We have uh, 12, 14, and 16 size uh, inch. Inches. Ah, 12 okay. inches. 14, 14 inches and 16 inches. We prove uh, three different piece of boxes. And the conclusion was we have any difference. We have any problem or trouble for this change. Mm, congratulations in that case. It looks like Thank it's you. going well. So yeah, I, I, I was preparing this report and sent to my boss. Mm. Oh, I, okay. I think it's a good project. Yeah, it's going to save money, so they will be happy. <laughs> yeah, we need that right now because <laughs> all raw material are very expensive. That is true. Very yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you and have you? to lower. It. What about your day, teacher? Well, um, I bought an iPhone uh, two days ago. Well, I bought it in the US and my sister brought it to me, but it was not what I expected because of the capacity of the phone. It was supposed to be 128. I think it's giga. I usually get confused with the space. It's megabytes, right? Yeah, gigabyte is so or for the more, internet. It's biggest. And okay. so megabyte is is more slow, gigabytes ah, more okay. high. So the space should be that, but now that I got it, I got it, it was just 64. And it was very expensive. So I felt frustrated and angry because, <laughs> because I had to return it in that process. The return process is kind of, I don't know, annoying, but I will sell. I'm going to sell the phone. I'm still trying it, testing it. And I'm going to sell it and I may get like $150 more. So, 150. yeah, because it cost me like, okay, it cost me like $600. Uh -huh. And he is going to return $200 to me. Uh -huh. But I'm going to sell the phone in $550 or $600. Yeah. And what okay. kind of iPhone is what number of iPhone 12? iPhone 12. 12. Mm -hmm. wow. But I didn't want the 64 one because the space is not enough for me. Yeah, the storage yeah. is very, very like long. You need, you need uh, the iPhone 13, mm, too expensive. This cell phone I'm buying it's expensive so mm -hmm. I think I'm going to stay with the 12 for a moment but I'm going to sell it because I need more storage mm -hmm. I'm planning on having it for a long time but 64 is not enough so that is yeah. what I can I can tell you about my day it was disappointing because I got mad I was like very excited to have the phone and when I saw that I was like oh my god and the same happened with my computer. I bought a new computer from Dell and the touchpad didn't work. And it was new, so I'm using this one because the yeah. touchpad didn't work and I have to return it too, but I'm yeah. using the computer, so I'm, I haven't done it. So Your computer, your computer don't have, uh, doesn't have warranty? It does. But I use my computer, I love my computer for the classes 
It's mm -hmm. very fast and I, I like it a lot. And I have another one, but it's very old. So it's very slow. Mm -hmm. And I'm like adapted or used to this one that it's faster. So I didn't yes. want to, to give it right now. So I'm going to wait this vacation break we will have, and I'm going to send it back to have it fixed. So uh, that is why, but it has a year, a year guarantee, so. Okay, it is, it is between the year. Guarantee. Yes, yes, I got it in September. I got uh, it in September, so three months ago. How long is, how long is the, the time to repair it or, or fix it? They said an estimate that it will take like 10 days. It will take ten like days. 10 days. Uh -huh. okay. And it will take me like five days because I have to mail it. I have to ship it. So I have to deliver that. But it's like a hassle, you know, all that travel, return it. I have to send it to the US because I, I saw, well, I got it there. So I have to send it there. And sometimes it's a little bit, I don't know, maybe scary because if the computer gets damaged or broken while it goes there, I have to pay for it. So it's kind of risky. So yeah, yeah I have to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. I yes. haven't had good <laughs> good things right now. My computer was, but I, now my I, phone. Uh, yeah. But but you are you are okay. Are you yes. okay? Yes, I'm fine. The good thing is that in my case, my well, my sister travels to the U.S. every month. That is her job. Uh, she's a courier. So she travels to the US all the time. So I sent everything with her. So in one month I have it uh, okay. back and forth. I, uh -huh. I thought you traveled to USA. No, no, I haven't. But in maybe vacation? I will go to Guatemala, but not to, to the US. But maybe in February, I have some plans about uh. going. So yes, I have that plan. But yes, I was sad because the computer was bad. <laughs> and now the phone is not what I was expected. So that is the bad thing about buying things online, right? Mm -hmm. That you don't see them. You can't test them. Mm -hmm. So do you buy things online, Galileo? I'm sorry? Do you buy things online, items or products online on eBay, ah, Amazon? Okay. Yes, I I buy I buy it, uh, two thing, two things in the past by mm -hmm. eBay, but uh, any time the products come to El Salvador, I I buy I pay for credit card, mm -hmm. and they accept my pay, but. Uh, Two weeks later, mm -hmm. they send me a message. I I going to receive a a reimburso. Refund. Refund. I going to receive a refund because uh, they have trouble in the in the. To in send the it here. Uh -huh, on the yeah. way to El Salvador. So I I was angry with Evay. <laughs> uh, I now I, I buy some something by uh, uh, AliExpress. Uh -huh. AliExpress is more effic efficient, I think. In that uh -huh, in that area. Yeah. With the shipping. Yeah, and I, that comes from China, right? Not from the yes. U.S. It's from yes, China. From China is more uh, long. Is more more distance, but they are more efficient. Uh -huh. I think depend on the country we we are buying. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, they have different facilities or different, I don't know, deals, right? With yeah. airlines and companies. Uh -huh. You can say that China is farther. Mm -hmm. Farther. Farther. Uh -huh. Farther. And when we buy things online, use the preposition on, like I bought something on eBay, on Amazon, on, uh, on Facebook. For platforms, we use the preposition on all the time. On. Uh -huh. That's the one Thank you can you. use. Mm -hmm. You are very kind. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. But yes, in my case, I used to, in the past, I used to mail my my items in the normal way with the, the government mail. But now that my sister works in that area, it's easier for me to just send it to the address she has in the US. And then she just sends everything like, well, she brings the things to me because she goes there it's, every it's, month. It's more easy. Easier. To uh -huh. Easier to you. Correct. Yes, it's easier, but I had problems with my items. <laughs> yeah. But the, the good thing is that, well, I have my sister and she can help me to, to send the package to the US. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's not yeah. from here. And with the phone, the good thing is that I'm going to sell it and I can buy another one. I buy them yeah. online because they are, they are uh, cheaper if you buy them online and in the US, but here an iPhone 12, it's like $1,000, $1,000. Really? Yes, they are very expensive. 12 iPhone. iPhone 12, uh-huh. If you think... look at for 12 iPhone in marketplace, do you, do you find a low price? But use, uh -huh. well, yeah, use cell phones, yeah. Yeah, but uh -huh. but it is a risk because there are not warranty. Uh huh. And you, I don't really trust like sellers here. I think it could be bad people. So, and with eBay, I have the guarantee. Like if I have a problem, yeah. I know that they will help me. So. Whenever I have a problem, because I am a, a very frequent <laughs> customer, okay. I always have their backup. They always help me out. So that is why I, I like it. Even if I have problems, I know I won't lose my money. They will help yeah. me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the warranty is, uh, is a security to our bike. Uh -huh, it's a protection. Yeah, protection, exactly. Correct. Yeah. To don't lose the money. Mm -hmm. I have, I have approximately 13 years. I don't expend any cent in cell phone. Mm, it's been a long time. <laughs> a long time, 13 years ago. I don't spend any cent in cell phone and in, in data too, because Papa John's Pizza provide us the cell phone in in, in packet. Ah, in a, a, a data package. Yeah. How cool! That's very cool. A very cool. Yeah, service. and uh, uh, usually. I don't spend my data, my uh, uh, <laughs> mm. datos or my data. Mm -hmm. minutes. I don't spend the money. Yeah, I, my credit. I don't spend spend in the month. Mm -hmm. uh, it, when I why. when I was in the in this the university. Mm -hmm. Uh, sometimes I, I expend spend my my data because I uh, usaba para enlazar la computadora. I use ah I use the hotspot. Hotspot. Uh huh. Hotspot is when you 
password. transfer internet yeah. from your yeah. phone to the computer, to the laptop. Hotspot, hotspot. Okay, and sometimes I, I spend my, uh, my data because I use this hot, hot spot. Mm -hmm. But today, is that just, necessary? Yeah. So Not anymore. I have that uh, oh, uh, advantage. Mm -hmm. Advantage. I, I, I have, may I say, may I tell you? One more time, you have? May, may I tell you the, something? Sure. Uh -huh. Where? I, I have I phone. A, I don't see it. Uh, I, I only a, see the, the background. But it's a, have, the cell phone. I, the cell phone, I have iPhone 13. <laughs> you have it. How cool. That, that is that is the reason why I my my expression when you say twelve cost is two thousand dollars. One, uh -huh, like one thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, because I I don't I am not familiar uh -huh. with, with the, the prices. Price, with the prices. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, but it's a very cool benefit. That, yeah, that's a good mom. perk. Yeah, mom is a big pleasure to talk with you. We have 18 minutes and mm -hmm. I can uh, continue talk with you for <laughs> more time, but I think you are tired too. It's okay, Galileo, but yes, yes. I, I have some things to do, but it was a pleasure to talk to you. I know you like to practice your English and I hope the tips help you. Like remember on four oh. platforms, on eBay, on Amazon, on Netflix. And remember when you have comparatives like easy, not more easy, easier. Yes, or when sir. you want to say, uh -huh, when you want to say more cheap, cheaper, far, yeah. Farther. So remember that rule. It works or we use it a lot. Okay. But it was yes, nice. Nice to talk to you. So we will finish the class here, but I'll see you tomorrow, Galileo. Primero Dios. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And God bless you, Tisha. Thank you, Galileo. Have a good night. Thank bye you. bye. Sweet, sweet dreams. Thank you.